Well, good morning. It's Monday, October 5th. I want to wish you God's blessings as we begin this day, this week, in the name of our awesome triune God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. You know, I'm actually taking a little time once again just to wind down. Uh, many of you know that uh, the last four or five months for my family have been uh, uh, not exactly what we had hoped for, not exactly what we even planned this year. You know, back at the end of February, I remember visiting my mom and dad. I was just stopping by to help them with a few things. And my mom and I were talking one night, and as we always did, and, and it was amazing. I mean, if you would have told me that uh, six months later, both of them would be in paradise, I would have not believed it at all. Both of them were relatively healthy. They were able to still be at home. And uh, man, I don't know what's happened, but it just, this was, it, it was crazy. And now I've had time uh, to actually just kind of just be. And uh, part of the being uh, means that I've, I've had those moments of being overwhelmed um, by all that's happened, um, but also being reminded of how awesome it was to have parents like my mom and dad. And I will tell you that uh, it, even though it was awesome and I am so blessed, I'm not saying it was always easy. And here's what I mean by this is that my mom and dad had some serious expectations for us as their kids, for my brother and my sister and myself. And nothing over the top, but they did have expectations. They made them clear. And when we did not uh, show that we were even trying to meet those expectations, I can't tell you how many times I heard from either my mom or my dad that, hey, you're a Wenzelberger, meaning you're a part of this family. You need to act like it. <laughs> the same is true, just so you know, when it comes to our family of believers to be in Christ followers, uh, we are Christ followers. We've been brought into the family of God through all that Jesus has done. And God makes it really clear that we need to act like it. And I'll prove it to you today. You see, in 1 Corinthians chapter 16, as Paul wraps up his letter, his first letter to the Corinthians, to the Christians in Corinth, uh, he is by that point dealt with so many things that have been going on in the early church. Uh, things that we might go, I can't believe they were doing that. Some things where we might go, well, okay, I can see, you know, maybe they just didn't understand. But either way, he's dealing with the order or the, the lack of order. And he is encouraging his brothers and sisters in Christ and sometimes just let them have it. I mean, he is writing them very forwardly and reminding them of who they are and how they're called to act as Christ followers well, of course, as you might remember, by the time he gets to chapter 13, as he's writing to the church, the body of Christ, he goes into this, this lengthy um, just section on love, where we hear love is patient, love is kind, it does not envy, it does not boast, it's not rude, it's not easily angered, all those things about love. And he's really reflecting upon the love of Jesus Christ, the love that we're called to live, the love that we're called to act out. And yet we know so often we fail, which means that uh, as we're reminded throughout scripture, we run back to the one who is love, the one who has demonstrated on the cross and we receive once again his forgiveness and grace. And then we heed to that call again to act like Christ followers. That's really what we're called to, to be. In fact, Paul wraps up by reminding us of this in the 16th chapter of 1 Corinthians. In fact, this is what he says in verse 13 and 14. It's actually pretty cool. He says, be watchful. Makes sense. He's just covered a whole bunch of stuff that he tells them to be on guard with. Stand firm in the faith. Totally makes sense as a child of God. And then he says, act like men. Be strong. I love that section. Act like men. He's yeah, he does write it in the Greek. It does it does come across that way, but he's talking to the whole church. He's really essentially saying, act like you are children of God, like ones who have been redeemed by Christ Jesus. And then in verse 14, he says it, really just a reflection of chapter 13, let all that you do be done in love. Act like a Christ follower. And oh, by the way, let all that you do be done in love because that's what Christ followers do. Now, we don't always do it well. Sometimes we downright fail. Sometimes we have those days where we don't feel like even trying. But as those who live as redeemed children of God, bought back by the precious blood of Jesus Christ, 
that has covered all our sin, including those failures to act like men, to act like Christ followers. As those children, we get up and we strive to meet our Lord's expectations. And they are the highest of expectations, but count yourself blessed to be among those who are held to them and count yourself blessed that we're not on our own and we don't have to do it alone. That's why my prayer is today that the Holy Spirit would fill your heart and instill within you an overabundance of that love from Christ Jesus. First, making it known how much he loves you. And then that love that responds to that call to go now and live it, to act like his children. We could really use that in this world, especially in our country right now. No doubt about it. Let's go to our Lord in prayer. Gracious God, Heavenly Father, you have called us to act like your children, to act like men, to be strong, to be firm in our faith, but to do it all by exhibiting the love that you have, have lavished upon us. So Lord, we ask that through your Holy Spirit, you would give us the courage and the boldness to do that today and in the days ahead, especially as we approach a national election. Lord, we all think we're right. We all have our opinions but we can at least share those opinions like children of God. And we can act like your children as we do. I pray that you make us bold enough, strong enough to be kind, to be loving, to be gentle, and to be people that follow Jesus. We pray this in his name. Amen. We'll go out and act like children of God. You might as well, because that's who you are.